Hi everyone, Carol Brightbell. Do you know that you can create a custom theme in Google Sites that it can match the color of your logo? You can choose the fonts that you want. Let me show you how easy it is to do this. First, before we go there, let me show you two Google Sites that I've already created and I've customized it to the colors that I want to match the logo that I have. In both sites, you can see how the colors change and I've controlled the color of this by creating custom themes. Now, one thing, you might have a logo and you don't know the hex colors in that logo, there's a website you can use called imagecolorpicker.com. When you're on this, you can scroll down to where it says use your image. I'm going to select this and there's a lot of options they have, but I'm going to choose to upload my image. Let's browse and go to my desktop and I'm uploading my image. What it's done, it's pulled out the colors out of this logo. And when I select one of the colors, you can see it put the hex color. So here's the hex color. I can select the copy icon. Now it's copied that hex color. To save time, I've already copied and pasted the hex colors that I want on a note. So let me go to Google Sites. Of course, to go to Google Sites, you can go to sites.google.com and I'm going to select a blank site. You want to go to the upper right where it says themes and I'm going to select custom. Give my theme a name. I'm going to add a logo, grabbing that logo that I had on my desktop. The next one is to add a banner image. So I'm going to select to upload a banner. I'm going to select next. Here's where you can enter your custom colors. I'm going to select custom colors. Now from that note, I'm going to copy and paste the three different custom colors that I chose from Color Picker. Saying next. And now we go to Google Fonts where there are over 1400 fonts to choose. You can get one of the fonts that you've already used or select more fonts and that will take you up to Google Fonts where you can choose any of the additional fonts. And you can select one of those fonts, say OK. You can also do the same thing for the text. Go and get a, a new font or use one of your existing fonts. Now I'm going to create the theme. Once the theme is created, it will open up more options on the right hand side. When you look at your theme, there's a palette. So you can choose that if you want to change the colors of your theme. You can also choose the A which means to change the fonts. Coming down the menu, it says colors. You can select that and you can see what your default color is. You can change the background color if you don't want it to be white and choose a different color. You can change the different colors for the title headers and for the body text. When you select more options, opens up more options for customizing your fonts. The next one down is text. Choosing the text also takes you into the fonts that you've chosen for your theme. For your normal text, we have the Cambria. If I come down and I choose heading, it goes to the Oswalt that we had picked. The next option is images. This shows you your header that you picked up for your banner. Here's my logo and I can upload a Flavicon. What a Flavicon is, it's that little icon that sits to the left of any URL. Coming down further under images is navigation. Right now it's transparent at the top. I can turn that off and it goes to either black or white. I can select that and maybe I want that now to be blue. And that's a really nice way how you can customize the top of your navigation so it can match your logo. Top nav, bold. That means that anything that's in the top nav when it's selected will be bold. You can change it to a background color, foreground color, or it can be underlined. Same thing if my navigation went down the side. It would change it to the bold foreground color, background, a shading, bold, underlined, and a line beside it. The next option is a component. Components are buttons, different elements that you have on your web page. If I have a button here now, I can change the color of the button to be the blue. Let me show you what this looks like. If I insert a button, you can see it's that blue color. The button can be the filled color, it can be an outline, or it could just be a text color. Another way to customize your website is to give the divider a specific color. I'm going to select this and I'm going to make the divider the gold. And I'm going to take it from two point weight to four point weight. And let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to insert a divider. Now it's a four point gold line. Your link colors are black and I can change the link colors to be the blue and also the image carousel. Image carousels have little active dots for what image they are, for what part of the carousel. You can change the image dots now to be one of the colors of your theme. And the bottom item is spacing. What that means is that right now my website is comfortable. 
I can make it so it's cozy and the components get tighter. I can make it so that it's compact and things get much closer together. And that's it. That's how you create a custom theme. And when you look at your themes, let's go up and come out of here. You can see your custom theme will be at the top. And if you put a lot of work into a theme and you go and create a new website, create a blank site, and I come to the themes, I can import a theme. So we just did all that work on this theme and I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna select it. Now I'm gonna import this theme. So I published the Google site using that theme that we just created. And you can see how all the colors are the same. Everything is consistent. The fonts are the same. Using a custom theme is really a great time-saving feature. It's a great way to brand with your logo. And it really does take your Google site one step above other sites. I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. And if you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel and have a great day.